on the left side. Here's Nilakina. He's guarded by Russell. New York again turning it over. Looked like a simple play and turned into a turnover. Can't give away possessions like that. Up and in, off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. And growing up, Derrick Rose protected by his family from the dangers of Chicago. Then, Greg, after starring at the uh, University of Memphis, he was drafted by his hometown Bulls. Anointed a savior from day one. You talk about a life under the microscope. Sports writers picking him apart, rabbit fans wanting a piece. In a lot of ways, it's probably better for him not playing in Chicago. And the basket by Okoge. Love to see this from Russell as he's one of the league's most gifted passers. Back to Rose. Here's Neela Kina. New York, no good that time either. Now the Timberwolves with it. Big stretch here going 10 2. Russell, no luck. And so it's Randall bringing it up now for the New York Knicks. It's a 16 point game. This, their first chance to take a look at Minnesota this season. And in their two matchups last season, they came up empty both times. Not really too shocking when you see how they fared overall. Here's McDaniels. And off the glass. That one's good. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. New York calls timeout. Hey, Greg, if you could coach one team right now, who would it be? That's a, that, that's a tough one. Clippers, Lakers, Ooh, Bucks. Uh, you know what? I, I would probably go Lakers or Bucks if you would have an opportunity to coach someone who arguably might be considered the best to ever play the game. Because I think Giannis is trending in that direction, and LeBron obviously already is. How about a guy like uh, Kemba Walker and coaching the Celtics, having him to do what you want to do on the floor? Uh, he'd be brilliant, and, and yeah. Kemba, one of the most underrated leaders in our game. Great, great human being. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Pass to Joppin. Let's the three fly. Rebound by a Kogi. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Deep two from Russell. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Russell's got six points. Yeah, this story in the second quarter much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Pass to Bullock. One twenty-four left in the first half of the game. Those three pointers off the mark. Now the Timberwolves with it. They're on a fourteen to four run right now. Here's Reed. Toppin pulls it in. Here's Knox. Currently averaging almost six points a game. Russell feeling it out a bit. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. At the elbow, Toppin. And it's blocked. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Right wing. Back to Russell. Shoots the three. It's rebounded by New York. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. For Minnesota, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And in terms of team numbers, uh, the free throw percentage is right at 74. And that one 